So I suppose the biggest finding is that Irish companies are actually already using robotic and cognitive automation uh, and of, the, of those companies about 80% of them say that their employees are much happier as a, as a result um, but I think what we've also found is that a lot of those companies are actually struggling to scale so they, they've started using it, they're looking at pilots but they haven't yet actually scaled and, make, and reached the full benefit of the, of the technology yet. So I think there's, there's three kind of key steps. I think the first one is really making sure that there's a strategic vision in place for automation and that the C-suite are really behind that. I think the second point is making sure that the IT team are on board so we know where IT aren't fully supportive it can tend to be a, a real blocker for automation and then the third point is trying to make sure that there's a business case that doesn't just look at the financial benefits but looks at the full range of benefits that, that automation can offer. So our report has found that the, the, biggest, the biggest benefits have actually been around increased productivity and improved employee and customer experience which you know is really interesting because actually in previous years cost savings came out as the number one finding so th these benefits have actually overtaking cost savings and, and that's where companies are really seeing the benefit. So a lot of what we do in, in tax departments and across finance functions in general is taking information from one source, putting it into another source or a software tool, calculating um, either tax computations or, or other calculations and then using that intellectual rigour and, and thought process to make sure is something right or, or, or applying a, a tax legislation to that. When you look at that process in detail, actually a lot of that is quite administrative based. Um, so the administrative burden of just getting information in in some format, manually typing it into another format, and that led to you know errors, demotivated staff who, who don't want to be involved in that. And actually when we looked at what the Deloitte Robotics team were doing here, those processes were, were seen as ideal for automation, and, and that's what we did.